guys do you guys sort of target a like a specific type of building or do you like how do you how do you end up sort of choosing because i know when when these contracts go out for tender there's like a group of us you know there's all the similar sort of companies that get invited and um you know quite often we are competing on paper against each other um do you guys sort of do you turn down um certain buildings or do you do you target certain buildings absolutely mm. absolutely we do um we're largely cbd based yeah we work out as far as ponsonby crafton everything's within that within that circle so that that's the first factor mm. is it within our neighborhood nice and then comes um meet the committee and see what they feel like because mm. a disrupted committee is hard work yep a cohesive committee easy so that's the next most important thing for us is the nature of the committee then the physicality of the building what it's made of what issues it's got um there's all sorts of factors but location and committee cohesion mm. would be the, the most important things to us we turn down lots of opportunities for buildings mm. we're not we haven't taken on new work lately we've found a, a sweet spot um, around 20 buildings mm. five staff it works well um, nobody's stressed out we can still deliver a good level of service the bills are getting paid and it's just working well for us right now um, the kid you know it's always been about the kids and the family um, one of them's off to uni next year the next mm. one will be at high school so there's a, a turning point for us there yeah an opportunity to grow perhaps or an opportunity for some more time and space for camille and i yeah uh, we haven't decided what we're going to do with this looming freedom but um every decision we make is based around the family's needs and and how how we work in with that that's cool man yeah. love that yeah. um and yeah that, that really resonates and that's the that's the beauty that you have when you own your own business right yeah um so just talk about that quickly because i guess we all get into this and we, we all have to be like independent contractors eh? like when we first start we're all like with your first contract or whatever you are an independent contractor and it took me a while to get my head around that because i hadn't really experienced that before as a form of being you know um associated with with a with a contract or a building or whatever um and so from there like you know as you sort of gather a few buildings you th sort of think oh i better set myself up properly from a um you know a background point of view like with your accountant and having a bloody company name and all that sort of thing um so did you when you guys set up was it was it kind of a bit foreign to you or did you understand what you needed to do no, in those early days no not at all we um essentially fumbled our way through mm. we, we managed one building lived on site at one building for five years yep while, while the kids were little and dependent on us then as they got into school and kindy one more building two more three more mm. and hang on we're probably going to need an accountant yeah we might need to think up a company name and, and so that came and then as the kids grew and became less dependent on us a few more buildings mm. now we're going to need some vehicles and a t-shirt and um, it just grew organically yeah. slowly very slowly as you're aware you, you'd sort of taken on 10 by the time we mm. got number two yeah. and away you went so we had you as an example mm. watching you grow and, and develop. making all the fuck ups <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't gonna say that <laughs> I'll no. say it. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, yeah, it was very, uh, very slow growth mm. for us, very slow and careful, mm. because it was based around the um, development of our family. Yeah. Yeah. Rather than a, an initial desire to build a large company, we never had that. Mm.